What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is James Jackson with MachineMasters.com checking in with another exclusive Machine Masters tutorial. What we're going to talk about in this tutorial is the brand new feature to the 2.4.6 update, which is the manual chop mode. What this allows you to do is allows you to slice your samples in real time. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So I'm in one of my sample folders here, um, the Machine Master Sampler Expansion Pack. Um, and I'm just going to load in this sample right here. Very nice sample. So in the past, and I guess technically in the present, what most of us would do is we'd find the parts that we'd want. Uh, we'd do some truncating. We'd do some time stretching. Um, then we'll go into slice mode and set it to, you know, sixteenths or set it to eighths or thirty seconds. Or, you know, some of us would actually just use machine detect mode and allow the detect mode detect the transients of a sample and use those as your chops. Well, with this brand new mode, um, what we're allowed to do again is to manually chop our sample as it's playing. So once you have the sample load up, you click on the sampling tab and you click on slice, you'll notice that manual is automatically the first selection, the first choice selected. And then you'll also see right down here that this first pad, it's blinking. So what this is telling you is that machine is ready for you to start creating your slices. You simply do this by hitting the first pad. Once you hit the first pad, once you hit the first pad, that's where the slice is going to be located. And then the second pad will start blinking. And then you hit that pad. Then the third pad, so on and so forth. I think you get the idea here. So as you go on up, once you get to pad 16, you're going to be like, oh, no, what am I going to do? Well, the cool thing is, is once you hit pad 16, you get to that 16th slice, it automatically starts on bank two, and you'll see pad number one uh, blinking once again. So I'm going to get into this example and show you guys exactly how it's done. All right, so as you see, I got myself 18 chops there. I stopped at this number, th at this third one right here, and you'll see that I actually went on to bank two. So if I just hit shift, you'll see bank two. And then I'll just hit the arrow right here. Now I'm back on bank one. Now into my first 16 slices. So now there's a bevy of things that you can do with this. Um, you can edit these slices. So if you notice that you messed up at a couple of parts, like right here, say you want to move this slice back a little, you just choose the slice that you want, you hit the edit tab, and then you bring the range back just like before, which is really cool. You can also split these slices just by hitting split. And now you're in two different slices. But now you got to remember over here on bank two, now you have an extra slice. So as you split samples, you give yourself another slice, and that's going to show up on bank two. And like I said, everything is going to basically be shifted down one. You could also delete all these slices or remove all these slices if you're not happy with the way you, you slice the sample. Um, let's say you are happy. You get out of edit mode. So now you can apply all of these samples to a brand new group. Or what I tend to like to do is I like to apply them right to the pad. So I'll go ahead and I'll erase the data that automatically dumps in there. And, you know, we'll go to pattern and we'll shorten this up to two bars. So now the great thing about when you have it on one pad, the thing that I like is that now I can set my polyphony to one so I don't have to mess around and go and have every pad choke itself off if I so choose to. Or the really cool, another really cool thing is that, you know, you can make the pads overlap each other in edit mode, which is a very cool feature as well. 
but now I've got this set to polyphony one. So now I'll just, you know, record a pattern. So there you guys have it, just a quick little pattern. And then this also works really well for drum breaks too. So if I go over here to another group, grab this break over here. Grab this one right here, drag it in. Same exact principles apply. So my manual mode is selected right away. So again, I can come in here and I can use the edit function and edit these. And I can even split this sample right here and can bring this back a little. Bring this one up a little. So again, really cool things that you can do. And again, I can just hit the apply button. So I hope that gives you guys an idea on how you can use the manual slice mode. Once again, this is James Jackson with MachineMasters.com signing out. Peace.